Welcome to my downstairs shack. Everything down here is vintage. Either home built or uh, military or ancient. Recently I built this one tube regen. This is a 201A tube, which is a single triode. And it has a sliding tickler coil. It's the Armstrong circuit. And it works better than I thought it would. The reason I built it, I was interested in seeing if a sliding tube, one tube inside of the other with the coils parallel, would work better than swinging the tickler. And it seems to, to me. This uh, radio, because it has no audio amplifier, really shouldn't have much volume, but it has more than enough for the job. So it says... Just after 7, I'm down here uh, on 160 meters, and I'll see if I can give you a listen. I'll put the earphones on the phone, and we'll see what happens. Forgive my hand. It's kind of uh, remarkable for a, such a simple radio. About 12 parts. And it was built as an experiment. Didn't really know what to expect. But I do operate 160. As you'll see, my transmitter is uh, warmed up and ready to go. And that's a number 10 tube, series fed Hartley. This is, a, as I said before, a 201A single triode receiver. No audio amplifier to speak of. I am quite thrilled with this uh, circuit. It does everything I need, actually. And I made it three bands. I put taps on the coil when I built it. So I could uh, use it all, which is the middle position, 160. Use half the coil, which gives me 80 meters. Or I can use three quarters of the coil, which gives me approximately 120 meters in that area. It will actually reach down to the top of 160 where the phone, into the phone section. But, uh, I just built it for fun, so, uh, it doesn't matter that, I hear that station is AA1K. I th if I'm not mistaken, I think that's Greg, Dr. Greg Latta. But I might be wrong. Anyway, he's calling CQDX, for those of you who aren't most cord people. But, uh, this thing works. I'll give you a tour.